Hey guys, so I am going to do a quick empty house tour for you guys right now. We're just in the process of moving in. It's transparently not a completely empty house tour because the last time we got to come in here was like nighttime and we didn't want to waste any trips down here so we want to start moving some stuff in. That's why you're going to see some of our things already here. But it's more or less empty at the moment without um, any like real furniture yet because the major furniture is going to be moved in this coming weekend when my parents come down to kind of like help us. So I'm going to give you a quick tour of the place to show you what it kind of like looks like and then I guess in the upcoming vlogs in the future you're gonna see us start to like move some stuff in i'll update you guys as we get new furniture and as we set the space but for now let me just show you what our empty house looks like so this is the main entryway when you come in you just walk up a set of stairs to the main area i believe this is what they call ranch style with kind of like a split up and down and then the downstairs is actually our laundry and the basement there actually is also a basement tenant there so i'm not going to go down and show you all that but this is what happens when you come up we have like a small little coat closet it's a little it's a little small but we'll make it work i think what we're gonna do is probably just store a bunch of like our winter coats in here and then in the main area just put all of our like summer stuff that's easy for us to wear in transition and then this is the main living room space with the huge windows here it's a little bit dark we're contemplating painting the walls all white just to open it up a little bit and to make it a little bit brighter but we're we're really happy with the space it's so much more space double what we had in our condo so i think we're just thankful to be able to have this much space to use for ourselves to film and with the baby <laughs> and then the previous homeowners that we're renting from left this light in here for us so i don't know we have to figure out if we want to keep this or remove it or put in something different i'm not really the biggest fan of the as light bulbs they're kind of yellowy we want like a really white atmosphere so we'll figure that out we have have all of our camping gear here currently opened out to kind of like air out because we packed up really quickly and it was quite humid and moist when we were there so ignore that but I think what we're gonna do right now is maybe put like dining table over there and some chairs maybe TV up here and the couch along the railing when you first come in here I don't know nothing's been finalized yet we're still in the process of like moving in I think once we have all of our stuff then we'll kind of like figure out where exactly we're gonna put everything and then swinging to the left here is the massive kitchen i think peter's more excited than i am for this kitchen space just because he's been dying to get a bunch of appliances there's like a huge island here these are granite countertops and we're upgrading from our induction stove to a gas top stove which i know peter's gonna be so excited for we already brought one of our our place pans here and put it here just so that we can start moving some things in some more camping supplies we need to organize eventually and then all of these cabinets oh my god we're gonna have so much more space to organize and put things in now this is gonna be great i can finally have like a proper spice rack i know peter's been wanting to get like a proper rice cooker an instant pot a blender we have all this counter space it's gonna be amazing We've already moved in some like paper towel. The owners left behind their soda stream and they also ever so kindly left us a little gift of an orchid. So I just put this by the window so we can get some sunlight since we're not um, in here permanently yet. And yeah, let's give you a tour of the rest of the place. So going down the hallway, we have a little, I guess, linen closet here. I think we're gonna put a bunch of our towels and just like, I don't know, other stuff, storage. Storage is always great. And then immediately to the left here is bathroom number one. This is a full bathroom. These things are actually really high, which is great. It has a shower and a tub. I think we might probably use this as like a guest bathroom and for the baby. I already moved in my little shower case to get that out of the way. Hello. The toilet's a little bit low though, so I think we might get a new toilet seat installed because we tried the other day when we first came here it wasn't the most comfortable so we're gonna we might have to upgrade that on our own and they have like a really nice vanity here it's not the most space conscious but it'll work for now we'll figure some things out there's a lot of space in this bathroom as you'll see compared to the ensuite one that i think we might just install some shelves and some um towel rods hanging from the walls here just to make it easier for us to store all of our towels and then directly across from the bathroom is the room that we're going to use as the office the colors of the wall here are painted the same as outside it's just this kind of like brownie color i think this will do we're mostly just going to be working here so it's not a big issue but look at the space this is like double what i had in the den so i think peter and i are both going to put our desks in here we haven't figured out the exact configuration yet but there is a huge closet which is going to be great i think peter's going to take this one over and use it 
it as all of his stuff for his storage for shoes and clothes because he definitely needs an upgrade as to where he puts all of his stuff. So I've given that to him. At the moment, we're just storing some knickknacks and miscellaneous things in here um, as we're in the process of moving. There's a nice big window. So there's quite a bit of light in here. Um, and we also just moved the humidifier in for now. So heading back out, there is another room on the left here. This I think we're actually gonna turn into the nursery, so the baby's room. It's currently painted blue. We don't know the gender yet as of now when I'm filming this. So I personally would love to wallpaper this and my theme was gonna be like green and whites and yellows. So I'm not quite sure how we're gonna do that because the blue is a bit much and yeah, I just I didn't really want blue in here. They also left behind this little shelving unit, which I actually don't mind. I think once we paint the place, maybe like all white and have some like white and green wallpaper, it'll match really nicely so we're just currently using this right now as we move in also as storage until the baby comes since it's not due till December and there is a smaller closet in here not as big as the one in the office but it'll do I think this one also will mostly just be like storage and some stuff for baby since baby clothes are quite small but we'll see this is also going to act as I believe a guest room for my parents whenever they come visit for the time being until the baby gets here because we have at least another four months of it so we can take out the giant air mattress that we have that we brought for camping and just like place it in here for them and there's peter dumping some more stuff in here currently moving oh no try to keep it clean i don't want to make too big of a mess my parents need to come in here and sleep here in a few days damn <laughs> so we're gonna head out here and i'll show you our master bedroom dun, 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 dun. wow this actually has quite a bit of sunlight during the day i like this this is the master as you guys probably may have noticed there is carpet in the bedrooms and hardwood out in the hallways so this is quite big for us this is like double the size of the current bedroom that we have the whole house is double the size of our condo so we're dealing with a lot more space we haven't quite figured out the configuration of where we want to put the bed and everything yet maybe either against that wall with the side tables or this wall the side tables because I got to figure out where I want to put all of my packs closet system shelves but yeah that's it it's so big and I'm so excited and then on this side is the ensuite bathroom it's a little bit smaller than the guest bathroom which kind of sucks but that's okay this is the bathroom connected to the bedroom we have a small sink the vanity is much smaller in here toilet they have a little storage thing up here and and then they also have a full shower bath, which is great. One of the major things I wanted was to make sure we had full baths, especially for the baby, so we could wash the baby properly in here. And then there is, you probably may have noticed, there is no closet system in here, but there is a little closet in the bathroom. Not the biggest. This is definitely not going to fit all of my clothes. So I think once again, we'll just put like laundry hampers, use this as storage space, and then maybe put most of my stuff outside here. I didn't want to put a lot of my things in here because I was just worried the humidity from like showering and bathing would just wreck stuff. So this is going to be a lot of storage stuff. So yeah, that is the master. So that is the complete empty house tour. Like I said, we're still in the process of moving things in. Today is kind of like the third official trip we're trying to do two trips a day in and out from toronto and hamilton to move all the stuff into here and yeah i'll update you guys once we have the whole place finished and also keep you in the loop of how everything goes as we start to set up stuff and acquire new furniture. I know that we were hoping to probably buy a house this year, but we didn't want to rush it with the baby coming and we definitely needed a lot more space for the baby, which is why we decided to lease a house instead for the time being. Um, we had this place for a year or so at least. I think we're still gonna consider looking into buying a house in the meantime and then we'll see. Who knows, we don't need to stay here for an entire year, but for the meantime, we've secured more space for baby, which is the most important part and then more space Space for us because I think we're kind of done with condo living after being stuck in condos for the past like five years or so we just we really needed more space with all the stuff that we've acquired so I'm just really happy for this change not necessarily the change we were planning but you know as things goes in life sometimes you just gotta adapt and this is how we're adapting with this so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this empty house tour and got to join us along in the big kind of I guess updates in our life. I did tell you a couple of weeks ago, up to like a month ago, we were having some big changes and surprises coming your way. And this was one of them besides the baby. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this and are just as happy as we are for all the changes that are happening right now. As always, I will keep you guys up to date with everything. And if you guys enjoyed watching this, make sure you subscribe so that you can stay tuned for all the further updates and kind of like as we document how we, I guess, fill this space up with furniture and with the baby coming soon. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Have an amazing day and I will see you in the next video. Bye, love you.
Thank you.